She says, I wanted to ask about self-love. It's such a challenge for me, and there's something so deep that keeps coming up. And I see that in my life, I don't love myself as I could. I'm wonderful at helping others, but when I take time to go within, I come up with this self-dislike or agitation. I wish I could explain it better. I'm asking this uh, not like, tell me what books to read, because I've read and studied plenty, but I'm consistently, I, I really want... Uh, to know myself as worthy and as love. And I've realized this off and on over the years. So I, this is great the way she says it. She says, I want to know how to meet this gook inside of me that brings me to my knees. It feels so deep. And normally I have a strong sense of where a pattern or a belief comes from. I feel like I've carried this for eons, but I don't know where to start healing it. So please help me live and dance and know the love that I am. How can I bring into my heart true love and self-acceptance? You know, I think one way to do this is to... I, this is kind of reminding me a little bit of a of a question that came up a week or two ago where somebody said, you know, what do I do with all the muck that um, that gets sent my way? And it's like the gook and the muck <laughs> and the darkness. It's like all those things, they're great to embrace rather than to exile that. So if one thing you could do, you know, from the way she's writing this is to go, okay, she's having this experience that there's this dark part of herself that keeps her from loving herself. And and I would say you go directly to that darkness and perhaps you do a change me prayer that says, shift me, God, into somebody who can Bless the darkness. You know, let let me bless it. Rather than let me fix it or let me change it, let me just bless it. Like, let you know, this often goes back to that place of whatever you resist persists. I think if you go to that darkness, that perceived darkness on the inside, and you go, oh, I really hate this. This is so disgusting. Where did I ever learn this? You can go and you could get, 20 sessions from a whole variety of helpers who will tell you all the different places this gook came from. That's all okay. But I think there's a simple way to approach it where you simply say, I'm offering that experience of my own perceived darkness. I'm offering it to God and I'm saying, please, just let me bless this. Let it be okay. I think something like this came up when there was that beautiful letter about depression. It's like you can often start with something like depression by saying, let me just bless the depression as opposed to thinking I shouldn't have it. So many of these issues, I think, come out of uh, a belief system that, you know, if we were okay, we wouldn't have these dark thoughts. If we were okay, we would walk around in a sense of radiant self-acceptance every minute. And ironically, I think you move more and more into radiant self-acceptance by having it be okay that there's darkness that emerges. It, it's something, I think, in some ways about claiming the shadow and not fearing the shadow. Um you know, the shadow is Pluto. I don't want to go into a whole astrological thing, but the Plutonic people often have this shadow part that they need to own. You know, that, that feeling of like, okay, there's just this part that feels yucky sometimes, and then you kind of call that part to you, and you hold it. I know, there's some story about, i trying to figure out where on earth did I read this, but there's some story about the God embracing the devil 
And it's like that's actually how you disempower the devil is by completely embracing it because then it has no power. And I think that's what you do. At least that's what I know to do with the darkness, not to try to eradicate it, not to feel guilty that you have it. You know, I have a very plutonic chart, and I've had definite times in my life that have been very dark. But to go into that place of going, but you know what, I, you eventually know you are not that darkness. You're not. You're brilliant light. And then the darkness is an aspect of the learned personality. And as soon as you embrace that, it's just like the little kid. You're you're the radiant goddess or God embracing the kid that is scared. You just come to know it's not you. It's just an aspect of yourself. So I hope I hope that helps. That that's that's where I would start with it and I think we'll revisit parts of that uh, again and again probably. <laughs> 